What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be going over the rigid constraint as you can see. And this one is very, very simple and it'll be very quick. So first, I wanna tell you guys what a rigid body is and how they are going to act because this is focused around connecting rigid bodies. It's going to be a solid body which does not or it barely deforms. So in this case, our objects or parts in the game would be a rigid body. In this case, Roblox does provide a developer hub page for information for it, and they provide all the basics to know how to use it. Very similar to the weld constraint, but instead of welding it based on multiple parts, it weld things based on attachments. Similar to how the dev hub explains, this will be handy for attaching accessories to avatars, since welds cannot be used in rigs or on avatars, but attachments can. I always want to mention that to apply the constraint, I'm going to go up to the model tab up here. I'm already in it. Then I'm gonna find the constraint button over here, turn on all my settings so I can see all my constraints, and then drop down to the create button and find a rigid constraint and click it when I'm ready to add it just like this. As you can see in the video, when I apply the attachments to unanchored parts, it automatically brings them together. But this will not work for anchored parts. You can also see that once this is applied, these parts cannot be separated by movements or rotations, but they still can be scaled. Something unique to note as well is that if you leave one anchored and another unanchored, one will remain glued to the other, but now it'll be able to be moved. And of course, if we anchor both of them, we will be able to split them apart manually and pull them apart. But if we unanchor them again, they will pull back together. The common theme that is supposed to be conveyed here is that each rigid body's distance and position remains constant regardless of any external movements or forces. Though of course I can still move the whole object as it's still an unanchored object. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this rigid constraint tutorial video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you also learned something. If you did either of those things, please make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely share the video because it helps me in the algorithm. We're trying to get to 1000 subscribers. If we can get to it by the end of this month, that will be insane. I don't think we will be able to probably by next month, but once we do, it's gonna be crazy and I'm excited for it. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.